Yo, data privacy is a very underrated yet incredibly important piece of the Web3 and blockchain economy. In my opinion, it should be at least optional for users, but also for creators to decide whether or not they want their holdings, their NFT, their digital assets to be public or whether they want to keep it fully private or at least shared with just a selected group of people. And Secret Network is exactly that. It's a privacy enabled smart contract platform that adds data privacy optionally for its users, right? Now you can think about use cases in the NFT space where people might don't might not want to dox their NFT holdings, right? You can think about just basic holdings of tokens, right? You might not want everybody to know how many coins you have um, and what you do with them. So that's why today we're going to be looking a little bit deeper into Secret Network, what we currently can do in this ecosystem and why it's so unique. So the history of Secret Network um, goes back to the project called Enigma, which was previously um, an L2 on Ethereum um, that was also trying to um, build a, a privacy layer, um, but on the Ethereum blockchain, right? But then Tor Beck came around. Um, he was actually also working at Enigma at the time, but then um, he was probably the uh, pioneer to um, establish Secret Network, which is um, a different pivot because it's its own blockchain, right? And they chose Cosmos technology to build the secret network as its own sovereign chain within the Cosmos ecosystem. And the way secret network is built is that it's its own sovereign blockchain within the Cosmos ecosystem means that the SCRT token is also the native um, staking and uh, governance token of the secret network. Um, and it's a privacy by default smart contract platform, right? So um, every other chain out there like Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, they're also pu uh, always public by default, right? Because everything is um, visible and everything is transparent. On Secret Network, you have privacy by default, um, even though you also optionally can say, hey, I want everybody to see what I'm doing here. I just love um, the technology and to have this option that I can have data privacy if I, pre uh, if I choose to do so. So that's the amazing thing about Secret uh, Network. Um, and now you can think about um, decentralized exchanges and NFT platforms, which we can look into in a second. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of announcements also that they have done in the, uh, in the past. Um, they also just launched a giant um, uh, $400 million ecosystem fund to further develop and improve the Secret Network ecosystem. Um, and yeah, speaking of the ecosystem, I think we can look into some of the things, some of the depths that are already part of the ecosystem, right? The first one that you probably also know from my interview with Carter is Shade Protocols. And Shade is basically, um, the first kill application of Shade is Silk, which is a um, stable coin that um, functions on a mint and burn model where you have um, a basket of assets that um, are stabilizing and um, backing up the value of Silk. So this just launched and also obviously with the launch, they also had an airdrop, right? Because we're all spoiled with airdrops here in the Cosmos ecosystem. So if you want to learn about how to claim the airdrop, you can either click here. Um, and also I highly uh, encourage you guys to watch Liam's video that he made on exactly how to claim the shared, uh, Shade Protocol airdrop. Um, but yeah, you can just connect your, your Kepler wallet after you watch this video. And then um, you'll get the first 20% of your SHD tokens which at the time are trading at around 38 US dollars. Um, the, I think it went way above 50 bucks on the first date. So even if you could just got a few SHD tokens airdropped, um, it could be worth a lot in terms of dollar value. But anyway, that's um, Shade Protocol. Now we are already on the secret swap DEX, which is one of the native DEXs within the secret uh, network ecosystem. And um, it's really cool because it also has this privacy enabled. Um, it's a privacy first AMM, which I think probably is the first one out there. Um, and if you look at, if you look at uh, liquidity and daily volumes, um, we're still nowhere near the Osmosis um, DEX, for example, but still um, this DEX has strong product market fit in my opinion, because a privacy first AMM is something that people in the future, especially will want to use more and more and more, right? Currently we're having um, 18,100 users, 116, uh, 160 pairs. If you look at the um, user interface, um, I think it's pretty 
easy to use, right? You can just conduct trades here. There's pools, you can also provide liquidity. You can also yield farm a little bit, right? And yeah, there's some pools where you can provide liquidity. Um, the S secret alter to a pool has 124% AP, APY, APR. So if you compound it, it's even more. But yeah, this is all also very early stage, um, relatively thin liquidity if you compare it to osmosis. Um, so trade all these things with care um, and don't go all in immediately on those things. But I still think it makes sense to play around with it because it's a very different experience and it's also a very different purpose, right? Um, they also have their governance here right on the first page. So you can see what's going on here. Um, <clears throat> Secret Sock also has their native token called SEFI, CFI, and um, yeah, there's also incentives. And as of my knowledge, there's also going to be an airdrop for CFI validator delegators. Um, so that might also make sense to play around. I don't know if the snapshot was already taken, but if you just bought some secret and look for validators, you might play it smart and delegate it also to the CFI node, which you can find here on the Kepler wallet. Um, if you're not familiar with it, please get yourself a wallet at there. Kepler is the best wallet in the whole world, the best crypto wallet. Um, and secret staking currently is at 24.48%. We can also look into some of the tokenomics of the secret token in a second. Um, but if you scroll down here um, and you find the secret network chain, you can see that um, there's currently a set of 70 validators. And I think at some point there is the C5 validator, which gives you the airdrop. Let's see, chainofsecrets.org earn C5 airdrop here. I don't know if that's going to be worth a lot but if you want to get hands on free tokens, maybe that's where you can get them. Um, otherwise, I think also the S secret network community is incredibly open. So um, if you join their Discord and ask for some other SCRT for, for gas fees or even CFI to play around with, um, I'm sure they will help you out with that. So 70 chains currently securing the secret network chain, uh, 70 nodes currently securing the secret network chain um, with an APR of 24%, 25%. It's not bad, um, that's really good actually. So yeah, you can play around with these things. Yeah, you can also actually do that right here in Kepler. You can convert your SCRT, which is a public token, right? This is not um, a privacy token, not like Monero, for example, um, <clears throat> to secret SCRT. Um, so you can convert here back and forth within Kepler. Um, I just discovered that actually. And um, that's really cool because once you got secret um, SCRT, then you are in the privacy world, right? Then nobody can track, see um, any of your transactions. Um, the only thing that you can do, for example, also for regulatory purposes, for tax purposes, right? Um, to be compliant also, um, you can send a viewing key to whoever you want so that this person or entity um, or the tax office can see and track and verify your balances, right? So this is about kind of like a little bit of the DeFi stuff um, a little bit of the staking stuff. Now let's look into some of the NFT stuff because that's very, very exciting as well. So the primary marketplace for trading secret NFTs is called Stash with two H. And um, yeah, the beauty of it is that, you know, you just have privacy enabled. The beauty of holding um, secret NFTs is that nobody is able to see um, to which address it's packed to, right? Unless you share it with a viewing key to whoever you want to share it with, right? Um, and Stash is the perfect marketplace where you can mint, buy, and trade. So it's very easy to play around with. Most NFTs are just priced in um, SCRT or secret SCRT. Um, and all you do is connect your Kepler wallet and you're ready to go. So that's very easy. Um, and the cool thing about secret NFTs is also that for creators, they have more flexibility because they can add more features to it, more privacy features. I think it's also important to mention that uh, Quentin Tarantino, he also launched an NFT collection through Secret Network. Um, and um, it's parts of um, his uh, one of his movies. Um, and he didn't want everybody to know and to see the NFT, right? So only the guys that um, are either like interested to purchase it or purchase it or, I don't know, close family, friends. So... Yeah, he launched a collection there. So that was pretty big in the news also. And yeah, secret NFTs are definitely something very, very different to any other NFT marketplace out there. And lastly, we can look into the secret token, SCRT. 
currently has a market cap of $738 million, which is really nothing if you think about it. Um, there is a history with Enigma. There was a burn where you could burn your ENG, I think it was called, for um, SCRT. And then also the Secret Foundation, they minted an additional, I think, 50 million SCRT um, in order to fund the project. Um, but yeah, since then, the um, price has gone up um, a lot since basically it came out. And then especially late last year, um, yeah, it went to all-time highs of $10, above $10, um, consolidated a little bit since then, currently at $4.50. Um, but yeah, given with all the macroeconomic uncertainties and um, depressions and potential um, scenarios with war, um, yeah, this is also affecting the price of crypto. However, I think Secret has very strong fundamentals, an incredibly strong community that you will notice once you start talking about Secret Network or you join the community yourself, which you can do here um, on Twitter, Discord, uh, Telegram, right? So yeah, play around with that, um, follow them on Twitter. And um, yeah, I think in my opinion, at least the SCRT token is severely undervalued and belongs to the like top 30, 40 maybe. Um, but this will also organically come once kind of like shade protocol stash, all these steps within the ecosystem are really, really taking off. Um, and the $400 million ecosystem fund that they have could play also a big role in that because that's how they can also fund and improve the protocol and the ecosystem as well. Now, if we look at some statistics on map of zones, we can also see that Secret is seventh in the last 24 hours at least. Let's see in the last 30 days. They are 10th when it comes to um, IBC transfers and they are ranked on seven when it comes to monthly active users, right? Above 30,000, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's a bit harder to track your month um, active addresses because you also have this privacy world, right? So I'm not sure how that is all being calculated, but, um, and also IBC transfers. But in any case, um, Secret does have strong product market fit. It has great adoption. Um, I see a lot of people are also starting to talk about it now. So um, very, very exciting project. And the best way to get secret is probably through osmosis. At least that's always the place where I go. And um, yeah, you can then just connect to your Kepler and you can already use it on stash. You can convert it to secret secret. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. You can stick it, you can farm it, provide liquidity here in osmosis as well. There's also incentivized pools for it. So yeah, um, if you can look them up real quick. Secret Osmo pool even has external SCRT bonding uh, rewards for the 14 day pool, um, way higher than for the one day pool. So check that out, but that will actually end in four days. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe and be good.